Right now we use an Oculus Rift. The staff at Stanford University's Virtual Human Interaction Lab has created dozens of virtual worlds since 2003. Where am I going? You're, you will see. It's a surprise. The lab studies what happens to people's brains after they use VR. So we are tracking your feet in this world. There you are. You're standing in front of a virtual mirror. Do you see your avatar? Oh, okay. Hi. You have become a man. Yeah. It's an experience you may not have had before. Virtual reality, or VR, uses immersive technology to push the boundaries of people's emotional, physical, and intellectual capabilities. You feel present in a virtual world where you can literally walk in someone else's shoes, or go to the bottom of the ocean, or fly Whoa. like a superhero. The research that we're doing now that I'm very proud of, we really look at this idea of empathy. We've been studying this phenomenon of what happens when you walk a mile in someone else's shoes and feel some trauma uh, and showing that it changes people's prejudice. We can have other Confederate avatars interacting with you, or oh, wow. agents rather, um, and have you experience racism or turns out that it's often hard for people to imagine what it's like to be someone else. For me as a white male, what's it like to be female? What's it like to be black? What we can do in VR is I can put you in front of a virtual mirror. I can become female. I look down and I have a female body. We induce what's called body transfer by using a neuroscientific principle to make it really feel like it's me in the mirror image. I then turn around and there's someone else with me inside of virtual reality and they discriminate against me because of my race or because of my gender and I feel firsthand what it's like to be discriminated against. What if instead of being around someone else, you literally become someone else? And you the work of the lab around. recently came to crowds in New York City. I truly believe VR is a great tool to teach you about yourself and, uh, and to teach you empathy. We want to know how robust that effect is, how long it lasts, because I can see a day where this becomes a tool that we all use, assuming that it works. The lab is working with schools, psychologists and others to see whether VR can help people develop not just empathy, but also to better understand their own experiences, making VR devices like Oculus not just a toy, but a way toward a better reality. Okay. Inez Novacic, CBS News.